Hey guys, it's Metallic Alec. So I just wanted to update you on the new Spider-Man No Way Home trailer 2. These are the new leaks. So we got Doc Ock confirmed like I told you. I told you it was right. Doc Ock was confirmed. Okay, Electro confirmed just like I said, guys. Just like I said, he's confirmed. He's here. Green Goblin confirmed like I said. He is the leader of the Sinister Six. He is the leader. So Sandman is back and he's a bad guy only because he's still being blackmailed by Venom who said he would kill his daughter if he didn't kill Spider-Man. Now, Lizard is confirmed, but I already said that in another video, and it makes sense because he never died, he just went to jail. Now, the big fight in No Way Home happens in the same place as the big fight in Spider-Man 3, which means there's a chance we'll see both Venoms in this movie. Does this scene ring a bell to you? Now, yes, Topher Grace did die in this movie, but the symbiote suit, aka Venom itself, we don't know if that actually died. So this would make sense why the new Venom hates Spider-Man. Abandonment issues. It would make a lot of sense to see Topher Grace return for this movie, actually. I mean, he did die. Now, this really caught my eye here, and I, and I really think it's Rhino. I really think it's Rhino, and I really think Paul Giamatti is actually returning, and he told people he wasn't returning because he's just trying to play us all. But I think he actually is. This is his suit. And don't tell me, don't tell me, oh, it's just one of these little uh, power connector things because it's not. So I think that this might be Tobey Maguire's symbiote suit and that this is where he, uh, like, you know, kind of like teleported in the sky and fell down and then he started web swinging in the, I don't know, but this looks like the symbiote suit and don't give me crap because I already seen the black and gold suit and yeah, yeah, we already know it exists, okay? So the big problem is Doctor Strange tells Spider-Man that all the villains gotta die and Spider-Man kinda likes some of the villains, especially Doc Ock. So he's like, oh, I'm gonna try to save the villains and he ends up messing up the universe some more. And some of these villains are up to no good and don't wanna die. They all die fighting Spider-Man. It's their fate. Talking about fate, Tom Holland can't save Aunt May. Because in this part of the movie, Green Goblin comes out of nowhere and throws a pumpkin bomb at Aunt May and ends up killing her. Spider-Man couldn't catch it in time. So Aunt May dies and Spider-Man cries. I'm sorry, kid. And then Tom Holland tries to mess with the multiverse to save his Aunt May, but that's just going to make things worse. Yeah, me too. Don't. This is the part where Spider-Man tries to steal the multiverse device and it gets stuck on his hand for the rest of the movie. Triggering more universes to open and more characters to join. Which also means that these are two different Spider-Mans. Now I definitely had to take a look at the scene, slow it down because it caught my attention. I really don't think this is the OG Green Goblin. I think that this might be a Hobgoblin. Now I don't know who plays the Hobgoblin. I've heard a, some people think it's Ned, but I, I don't think it's Ned. I highly doubt it's Ned. Um, it could be James Franco. Could it be James Franco? I would love it to be James Franco. That would be awesome. Oh God, please. No, not him. I can't stand this laugh. Oh my God. No, I don't have any crack. Anyways, I definitely don't think it's Ned because in this part, which is like close to the end where they're having the big fight, MJ just falls and Ned kind of just hangs there. He doesn't seem like he possesses any hobgoblin powers. So in the trailer, it's obvious that Doc Ock and Tom Holland become friends. You can see Doc Ock is getting attacked by Electro here. It seems like Doc Ock is trying to redeem himself since his death in Spider-Man 2 wasn't the greatest and it was very dramatic. And there's Jay Jonah. Where there's a Jonah, there's a Toby. And whoever did the Brazilian trailer did a oopsie. Yeah, there's the oopsie. They took a Spider-Man out of the footage for the trailer. And this is what y'all got in Brazil. What the hell is that? So at the end of the movie, Zendaya falls off the building and Spider-Man tries to catch her, but she dies. It's going to be the biggest Spider-Man movie, but also the most dramatic as well. Now there's still a possible chance we might see Scorpion or the Kool-Aid guy. I don't know, but anyways, we can definitely still confirm that Venom will be in this movie. Listen, the Pentagon confirmed UFOs, so can Marvel confirm me some Gwenom, please? I need me some Gwenom in my life. God damn, you got the multiverses broken. Just bring me some Gwenom, please. Please smash that like button like you'd smash Gwenom through the wall. And subscribe for more great content from me, Metallic Alec. Signing off. I'll see you guys next time.